Would you like some guidance on how to use your Excel spreadsheet to calculate ratios for your firm? In this video, we will look at how to do this. Go to the Ratios tab in your firm's spreadsheet. In this worksheet is a list of ratios. For the ratios under the headings Profitability Ratios, Efficiency Ratios, Liquidity Ratios and Financial Structure Ratios, calculate these ratios based on figures taken from your firm's financial statements by linking to cells in the Financial Statements Worksheet. For ratios under the heading Market Ratios, you will need some figures not included in your spreadsheet. Number of issued shares, dividends and market price per share. You can enter these figures in the working area at the bottom of the ratios worksheet and then link the ratios to these figures. You can see I have entered these figures in the working area and then linked my ratios to these figures. You can usually get your number of issued shares from a footnote for your equity in your firm's balance sheet. You can usually find your firm's dividends from its statement of cash flows each year. And I found Ryman Healthcare's share price by Googling Ryman Healthcare's share price. For the ratios under the heading Ratios based on restated financial statements, you can calculate these ratios by linking to cells in the restated financial statements worksheet. You will also need a figure for the short-term borrowing rate to calculate operating liability leverage spread. You will see I have entered this figure in the working area at the bottom of my ratios worksheet. We also calculate economic profit for our firm for the past four years. To do this, we will need a figure for the cost of capital, WAC, or weighted average cost of capital. I have entered this figure in the working area. You can use 8% as your firm's WAC when calculating your firm's economic profit, unless you have reasons to use a different number. If so, clearly state those reasons. Once we have calculated our firm's ratios in our Excel spreadsheet, we are ready to step back and consider what our ratios are telling us about our firm.